Hey everyone, welcome back to the uh, second game of the three game series against the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, today we have Jack Billingham going for Detroit. He's my fifth starter in my starting uh, pitchers. Uh, he's going up against Moose Haas of the Milwaukee Brewers. Let's get started. Hi, now we all know that the moon is not made of green cheese. But, but what if it were made of barbecue spare ribs? Would you eat it then? As I mentioned before, this is uh, Jack Billingham getting a start today. Uh, normally, Sparky Anderson went with a four-man rotation, uh, just using a fifth starter when necessary. But uh, because I'm using a lot of young starting pitchers, um, I'm going to go ahead and just go with a five-man rotation right from the start. Jack Billingham is a veteran starting pitcher. He actually pitched for Sparky uh, back in the uh, Big Red Machine days. He's probably most famous. Uh, Jack is probably most famous for uh, going 2-0 in the World Series with a, a 0 0.36 ERA. Um, also, he gave up uh, Hank Aaron's 714th home run. I meant to do that. So, uh, you know, a couple notable career uh, highlights there. Um, so we have uh, Jack going today. This is our starting lineup against Moose Haas. He's a righty. Um, I have a lot of lefties in there today. I stuck in Richie Hebner in the, D in the DH slot instead of uh, John Walkenfuss. Um, if you watch game four, you realize that I uh, made a mistake by having uh, Parrish a catcher and my backup catcher at the DH position. Um, because of that, I wasn't able to pinch hit for, I mean, a pinch run for Parrish late in the game. And that might have been one of the reasons why we um, struggled there late in the game. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. Play ball! All right, leading off is uh, Lou Whitaker. It's flying out to right field. Next up is Alan Trammell. Popping up to second base. JT. Oh, takes one up high. Little chin music there. We've lost two in a row. We've definitely been struggling, so we'll take any base runners we can get. See if Lance Parrish can make him pay. Wild pitch. Sending uh, Thompson to second base. Ooh. Oh man, lined up to left field. So here's uh, Jack Billingham up against Jim Gantner. The Brewers lineup is the same as game one. No difference there. We're going to pull the outfield in for Gantner. He's going to bloop it in anyway for a base hit. Alright, we're going to guard the lines and possibly get a double play here. Oh, we'll take a strikeout. One out with uh, Hall of Famer Paul Molitor up. Ooh, stolen base for Gantner. On Parrish, who's got a pretty strong arm. Now we definitely have to pull the outfield in just to prevent, uh, try to prevent that run from scoring on a base hit. Oh, take a second strikeout. Looking pretty good here then. Let's see if we can't um, strike out the side with Gorman Thomas. Oh, nope. Spoke too soon. Thomas taking the base on balls. Cecil Cooper's up. In uh, 1980, Cecil Cooper batted 352, which is pretty impressive, um, but he did not uh, win the batting title. 
I'm sure most of you know who did. That was uh, George Brett batting 390. One more time, we're going to um, pull the outfield in. <clears throat> Grounding out to short, and we get out of it. Moose Haas pitching against Steve Kemp. Kemp's been our best hitter so far, batting 471. Richie Hebner up, taking a walk. Champ Summers, we're going to let him swing away. Right down the middle, but popping up the second base. Tom Brookins, he has the only home run in the lineup. Grounds out. Well, pretty much like every game so far this season, We've gotten off to a slow start here. Second inning against uh, Ben Ogilvie. Into the gap. It's going to be a fly out to left. Larry Hizel. Larry Heisel. Oh, man! Billingham walks him. And that brings up Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. We're going to guard the Lions, try to get a double play. Heisel's got pretty good speed. Maybe? Nope, just forced out at second. Catcher Charlie Moore is up with two outs. Another grounder to third. 0-0 zero, zero through 2. Stegman still hitless on the season. He's popping up the short. I've said it before, but Stegman probably wouldn't be in the game except for his um, defensive advantage in center field, so I'm glad to have him in the game even if he's going to just fly out every at-bat. Like Lou Whitaker there, flying out to uh, first base. Trammel up, grounding out to third. Not a lot going on. Gantner's a good buncher. I'm going to bring in the third baseman, just uh, tr try to prevent that. Flying out to center. Flying out the left. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. Liscano. There's a base hit. Oh, he tried to go for two, but Stegman threw him out. That's why he's in there. Here's Molitor. Grounded out to second. Well, after giving up all the runs we have in game three and four of the season, I'll take all these uh, bagels up on the on the board. Lance Parrish with one out. Maybe a base hit falling in. Oh, there we go. Big wheel of a base hit. Come on, Kemp. Ugh. Grounded out to the pitcher. Thought maybe that might be a double play. Hebner flying out to center. Billingham looking pretty good through three, only 47 pitches. Corbin Thomas led the league in home runs in 79 with 45. But uh, he'll take the walk there, I guess. Bring it up, Cooper. Gonna guard the lines, try to get a double play. That could do it? No. Moving the runner to second.
I'm gonna let Ben swing away here. Oh! Drilled him in the hips. Alright, let's turn two and get out of this. No wild pitch. It's early, but um, I'm going to pull the infield in, try to prevent that run. Nope, that should get the run in. Sack fly for uh, Larry Heisel. One nothing Brewers, Robin Yacht up. Infield fly. Alright, uh, top of the fifth, Champ Summers. Oof, we are really struggling. Tommy B. Dave Stegman. Nope. Number nine hitter, Charlie Moore up against Billingham. Oh, that could be a double to the wall. Yep. I'm going to bring the uh, corners in in case uh, Gantner sacrifices more over. And he swings away. That'll get him to third anyway. We can't really afford to get down a second run. So let's guard the lines. A walk. It's four walks for Billingham. Pushing his pitches up to 74. I'm going to guard the lines to try to get a double play and get out of this. I'll give up another run if I have to. Nope. Take the pop up. Billingham sitting at 80 pitches. Showing he's tired already. I'm going to let him at least pitch to Gorman Thomas. Back up the middle. Now I'll get the second run in. Oh, well, I don't know if I should let him pitch to Cooper or not. He's a lefty. Cooper batted 330 against uh, righties last year. I'd like to get Billingham through five. I don't feel too good about this, but we're going to let him pitch to him. Oh yeah, that was a bad decision. I'm a bad manager. Well, at this point, we're down three already. There we go. No problem. Come on, Lou. Anything? Mm, nope. Trammel. There we go. Gonna bloop it in. Little duck snort. <laughs> hey, that's a good Definitely one. not gonna go for a double. Thirty percent chance. Um. Thomas doesn't have much of an arm out there in center, but uh, I'm not going to risk it. We're three runs down. We haven't showed a lot of power this year, but maybe uh, JT can drive one. There we go. All the way to the wall. Double for Thompson. Bringing up the big wheel, Lance, Par Lance Parrish. I'm going to set it for sacrifice, fly, and uh, hope for better. <laughs> no, we got worse. Oh, man. This is brutal. Settle down, Beaver. <laughs> That's uh, Haas' first strikeout of the game. Um, oh, they're going to intentionally walk Kemp. Well, let's let him do that. All right, we'll take it. Moose Haas actually has uh, had the Brewers 
um, strikeout record for a game with uh, 14 until Ben Sheets broke it with 17. And now we got Hebner up with the bases loaded. He's two for six on the year. We just need a base hit to get back in this game. Oh, it's an infield hit, right? Yeah. That was lame, but we'll take anything at this point. That brings up Champ with the bases loaded. Give me something, Champ. Oh, Champ is a chump. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. Okay, well, we've got to take Billingham out now at 91 pitches. He's taking a shower because he stinks. <laughs> Um, all right, we're going to bring in uh, Roger Weaver. My long relief guy is a lefty, so I don't think that's a good matchup with three righties. Weaver has the same glasses I did in the 80s, so I'll give him credit for that. <laughs> oh, man! Stay in the park. Yes. Robin Yount. Is that going to fall in? No, Champ Summers gets to it. That's good. Two outs. Charlie Moore. Nice. All right, we're down two in the seventh. Tommy B is up. Taking a walk. Actually, I think we got hosed on that call. Since Stegman's proven he can't get a hit, let's sacrifice. Brookens over. I'm anti sac Oh, <laughs> almost drilled him in the head. All right, we'll take the wild pitch. Oh, we're gonna swing away now. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna hit to the right side. See if we can't move him to third. Nice. That'll get him there. And um, let's see if Sweet Lou can uh, drive it to the outfield. No. Haas up to 111 pitches. Come on, Tram, base hit. Oh, we'll take the pass ball. Gets us within one. Oh, man. We need to retaliate here. Settle down, Beavis. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to try to get Trammell to steal second. We don't have a stolen base yet this year. Oh, he pitches out, but we still make it. So uh, we have Trammell in scoring position with JT. Base hit times ties the game. Oh, intentionally walking. That's probably a good move. Man, 117 pitches. Let's go, Parrish. No. Where are you? Damn it. Okay, seventh inning. We'll take a look at our bullpen here. I think I'm going to bring a shot Sater in. Sweet mother of God! Pitch to Gantner, and then we'll play it by ear. The anti mustache. He looks like he should have a mustache. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> No way! I'm nice. Holding my side. <laughs> Whoa! Let's kind of hit 411 versus lefties in 1979. I'm gonna guard the lines, prevent any uh, extra base hits down the line. He hits it back up the middle. Mm. I've really spent a lot of my bullpen at this point. I hate to um, pull in another righty with more lefties coming up, but 
we're going to try to get through this. Pops up to first. Here's Gorman Thomas. He can really punish us here if I don't uh, don't make the switch. But we're going to give it a go. Hey, nice. Okay, eighth inning. Frank DePino replaces Moose Haas. Wow, this is his first game in the majors. He's 23 years old. Let's see. Yeah, we do have three lefties coming up, so that's a good move by the Brewers. Oh, that will tie it up. Good job. That's only the uh, fourth home run we have as a team. That's uh, through four plus. So yeah, that's a rude welcoming to the majors. Richie Hebner, let's keep it rolling. Yeah, pops out to uh, second base. Champ Summers, we're going to let him swing away here. There we go. Push it through the left side for a base hit. Let Brooken swing away. Oh, that could be two. Yep. Double play. Alright, it's a whole new ball game. Tied at three in the eighth. We're going to Keep shot Sater in. He pitched really well that inning, even against the righties. But uh, we have two lefties up in a row. So let's see what he can do here. Oh, right through uh, Whitaker, almost looked like. That's frustrating. Let's turn two and clean off the bases. There we go. That should do it. No. All right, Schatzader did his job. Oh man, this is the position where I bring in Tobik, but he has been horrible. And it's a tie game, we're not even in the ninth, so it's too early to bring in Lopez. Tobik it is. We're gonna Pull the outfield in. There we go. Get him a third. Oh, uh, keeps him a second. Robin out. Two outs. Gonna let him swing away. Oh. Ball four. First and second with Charlie Moore. And he batted 302 versus righties. He's already 0 for 1 against Tobik on the year. There we go. We got out of it. Fantastic. Going to the ninth. Let's uh let's get a run here. Get this game over with. Okay, we'll take a walk. Stegman has good speed. Whitaker has good contact, so we're going to hit and run. Oh boy. Struck him out. Oh. That was almost a strike him out, throw him out. But we have a runner at second with one out. We're going to have Trammell hit to the right side, maybe hit it through. Oh, intentional walk. That's the third intentional walk for Milwaukee. Makes sense though. It brings up uh, JT. I have no one better on the bench, so got to swing away. Oh man, that's bad. Yep, another double play. All right. So um, <clears throat> let's bring in. Uh, normally I bring in Hiller, but I think he's already pitched a couple. Yeah, he's. He's been in three of the four games. So um, we're going to bring in Pat Underwood. At least to pitch to Jim Gantner. 
pull the outfield in. And then we'll reassess our situation. Stigman track it down? Yeah, he does. Oh, no, he doesn't! Oh, man. So now we have no choice. We have to bring in a uh, senior smoke. Milk was a bad choice. Aurelio Lopez. He's taking a shower because he stinks. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I guess I have to uh, intentional walk. Let's kind of at least give me a double play opportunity. We're going to guard the lines. It's asking a lot, though. His contact is 96. Oh, right up the middle. That's the game. Damn it. Oh, no! <laughs> Thrown out at home. That's the second uh, outfield assist for Stegman. We have life. Man, that's crazy. Okay. So, uh, Gorman Thomas. Okay, now we definitely need a double play. All right, we'll take a K. We do have one lefty in the bullpen, but um, I really need uh, Lopez to get this guy out, and then we'll pitch him again in the 10th. In the can't let that run score. Let's get him here. Senior smoke. Oh, no. Wow, pitch. Oh, man. The baseball gods are against me. Well, we just have to let him swing away. I mean, I can walk him, but that would bring up uh, Ogilvy, who's just as tough. Also a lefty. So, swing away. Nice. Right? Yes, okay. So Milwaukee brings in uh, Dwight Bernard. You don't know where the hair begins and the beard ends. <laughs> oh, man! We have uh, the big wheel up. Nice. Base hit into center. We'll take it. Steve Kemp's already had a bomb this game. I'm going to let him swing away. Maybe he gets two here. Nope. Fly out to right. Richie Hebner. Oh, there it is. Sweet. You got like three feet of air there. Two-run bomb. Gives us a lead here in the top of the tenth. Champ Summers. There we go, into the gap. We'll take a double. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Brooklyn's grounds to short. Alright, Stegman, this is a chance to get your first hit. Do something, anything. No. Okay. So, um... Aurelio Lopez in line to get the win. He's already thrown 20 pitches. But uh, he's really the only reliever we have that we can count on, so let's keep him in there. There we go, one down. Larry Heisel. Oh no, come on. Just a bit outside. We're going to guard the lines. That run doesn't mean anything, really. Nice. Rook and snares it at third. Bring up Charlie Moore. Let's finish it off right here. Oh, no, dice. Single into left. Moving Heisel to third. Top of the lineup. Lopez isn't tired, so... Um, we're going to guard the lines to try to prevent... Uh, any extra base hits here. Heisel's run doesn't mean anything. And there it is anyway. Oh man, now we got a runner into scoring position. That's the tying run and the winning run. Is 
Yeah, we got to pull the outfield in. Try to prevent that from happening. Stegman's already got two outfield assists this game. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on! Oh. Settle down, Beaver. Man, that's... Uh, all right. Refocus here. Blown save. No, it wasn't even a save opportunity. He had the win. There we go. Okay, well, top of the 11th. It's just not fair. Sweet Lou. All right, base hit to right. Trammell's going to hit and run. Let's get this runner moving. No. This team cannot hit and run. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to let Thompson swing. There we go. That'll be first and third. All right, Parrish, sacrifice fly. That's all we need. Hit it deep. Base is loaded. Okay, well, we still just need a sacrifice fly. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to pinch run for Parrish and try to keep him out of a double play. We have Rick Peters, I think he's a 94 speed. 91. Yeah, 91 speed. Okay. Come on, Kemp. Sacrifice fly. Oh, wild pitch. That's as good as a hit, in my opinion. Okay, Kemp. Swing away. Oh, that's just not right. So they bring out, they take out Bernard, they bring in Jerry Augustine, who's been a starter for many years. He's in the bullpen in 79. But we're going to keep uh, Hebner in there. That's fine. Okay, we need to bring in a walk and fuss a catcher for Peters. There we go. So uh, we only have a lefty in the bullpen. Appreciate all of uh, all of you that have stuck in here this long. Um, I'm gonna let uh, Lopez, even though he's tired, pitch to Thomas, and then we're gonna bring in. John Hiller to pitch to the lefties. That ought to stay in, right? Perfect. Okay. This is it. This is the last guy in my bullpen. He is pitching the rest of the game no matter what. Cecil Cooper. Grounding out to short. And Ben Ogilvy. Oh, come on. All right. Larry Heisel. He only batted 190 versus lefties. Interesting. Come on. Okay, let's, um, let's bring the outfield in. Just in case. No! Oh no! Oh man! Oh, come on! Alright. I'm going to intentionally walk. Yount. 
No, we're not. No, no, no. We're going to bring the outfield in. In case there's a base hit. We got two outs. Young's a better hitter than uh, Charlie Moore, but at this point, we can't be wasting pitches. All right, we got that right. Oh, man. No problem. Sorry, everybody. If you're, um, I would imagine you're probably as frustrated as I am, but don't go away. There we go. Champ Summers bloops it in there. We're not going to go for a double. We're going to sacrifice Bunt. Get Summers to second. Oh, oh wow, it was right at his ear hole there. Stegman has proven that he is not a hitter, but maybe this is his magic moment. Nope, but it'll get him to third. Sweet Lou versus Augustine here. Come on, base hit. Nope. Okay, folks. Bottom of the 12th. Charlie Moore. Not a real strong hitter. Grounded out to short. Lefty versus lefty. Jim Gantner Gumby. Oh, come on. Just a base hit. They've been stealing like crazy on walking fuss. So I'm a little bit hesitant, but um let's just guard the lines. Let's get a double play here. Nope. All right, now we got to pull the outfield in again. Paul Molitor, though, he is a Hall of Famer. Ah, oh, but he pops it up. Hi. Two outs. That one be a I'm going to walk, uh, intentionally walk Roman Thomas to get to the lefty. Cecil Cooper. Oh no, a grand slam! I just lost on a grand slam. That is crap. Alright folks, I appreciate you sticking in there to watch this debacle. I'm going to pull up the um, box score so you can take a look at it. Feel free to pause it so you can... Uh, Look at all this horrible, horrible stats. Um, that's the end of game five. Tigers are now two and three. If you're enjoying the uh, content, please like and subscribe. And uh, tomorrow we'll uh, have game three of the series against the Milwaukee Brewers. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate it. Have a good night.